They'll try and run for it with Penny. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Intended for Rashad Penny. Incomplete. It's third down and goal from the five-yard line. Coming. Here's third and goal. Here's Wilson. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Incomplete. It's fourth down and goal at the five yard line. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. But from the left hash, a chip shot here. And Myers able to knock it through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Five-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And that gonna hit in the end zone as we restart things here in the second half with a touchback. begin their next drive the Seahawks offense they have the lead now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter I like the way you turn that because and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down and Nick Bosa so quick on the outside he gets in there to bring him down second down Chain second and 13. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. 
Yeah, Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Wilson. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now here's Michael Dixon, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return, it's James. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. He'll find Taylor, that's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Good. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Field now. Here's Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Now it's Penny. Tackle by Emmanuel Mosley. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Here's Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Seahawks on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. They'll run with Penny here out of the shotgun. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Third and medium. They opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. Seahawks. He'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. It'll only be a gain of a yard and it sets up a third down and four now. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From the gun again to Penny. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. It's caught, lock it. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. Touchdown, Seahawks! Touchdown. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point. 